the heat wave. It's still raining, Maggie. It's certainly not a heat wave at the moment, is it, Amy? <laughs> I wish I could tell you that the final forecast I'm going to deliver for the year will be one which is a little bit dry and brighter, but unfortunately it's not. Uh, we have got a lot of rain to come over the course of this weekend, and that is how we will end the year on a wet and a windy note. I'm afraid there was a little bit of brightness out there today, but it was pretty fleeting. And this deep area of low pressure is working its way through and it is going to give some squally conditions and some strong gusts of wind. Through tonight, the showers will ease. We'll be left with some clear spells. Temperatures are going to dip away for a time. Then we'll start to get cloud filtering its way up from the south with this band of rain. But enough to give us a touch of frost, I think, in the countryside, down to one Celsius. So we start off tomorrow with that cloud and that rain clearing through. Behind that, we will get a lull, maybe some bright spells, but then we get this squally cold front working its way through. Strong gusts of wind along it and some heavy downpours. Temperatures 9 to 12 Celsius. If we skip forward to New Year's Eve, we'll see that clearing out of the way. We're in the center of the low pressure system, so the wind should at least fall lighter, but there will be some showers which will work their way through. I think by midnight, Fingers crossed, you might be able to look up as if there are any fireworks out there, but it is pretty unsettled, Amy. Thank you, Becky. Happy New Year. <laughs> An early one. <laughs> and that was the Midlands today. I'll be back at 10 to 11 with your very late update. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.